Just recently, 39, we did have a gust of 46 miles an hour earlier this afternoon. And as we zoom out, we'll take a look at the Futurecast radar. 2 o'clock this morning on your way home from the evening activities, we do have clear skies still. If you want to take a look, the northern lights might be out. Clear skies should allow for that. And as we put it into motion, Saturday and Saturday night, the clouds come back. And then you can see the system coming up through the Chicago area into Mount Pleasant. By 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon, the snow does return. We will see accumulations and even all the way through Sunday into Sunday night. Look across the nation. We can see that system moving out up into our area. And the cold air is coming back. We are already six degrees colder than this time yesterday. So tonight, check out the northern lights. Breezy, 20 degrees for our low temperature. West-northwest winds at 25 miles an hour. Tomorrow, cooler, 34 for the high. And for our seven-day forecast, you can see those temperatures really start to slide downhill. Only 34 on Saturday. 32, 28 on Tuesday, and the system coming in, leaving by Monday, and maybe another system by the end of the week. So again, winter is returned to the area, and unfortunately it looks to stay that way for quite some time. Now to your entertainment report with Britt. Singer Adele speaks about the inspiration for her newest album, and reporter Serene Branson gives us a personal account of her viral news report. Rachel Stanley has this and more in your entertainment report. Grammy Award winner Adele has opened up to the world about her new album, 21. This British singer said the entire album is written about one guy, now an ex-boyfriend. She claims that she can't write about other people's relationships because her <coughs> own love troubles are the only thing that fascinates her. The album has already taken the number one spot in several countries. Television reporter Serene Branson says that she was terrified during her on-air stammering on Sunday. She stated that she knew something was wrong as soon as she opened her mouth. During a news report outside of the Grammys, Branson suddenly started stumbling over her words and quickly began speaking gibberish. Branson had not been feeling well that day, but she simply thought she was tired. After a brain scan, medical officials have ruled out a stroke, which was the speculation of many. Doctors are now saying that it was most likely a type of migraine, which can sometimes have the same symptoms of a stroke. That's all for your entertainment news. I'm Rachel Stanley. Zone News Central 34 brings the latest news into your living room. As part of your community, we believe that the truth matters. With local news, sports, entertainment, health, business, and weather coverage, News Central 34's dedicated team works hard to make sure you get the most up-to-date information. With hour-long broadcasts Monday through Thursday and special half-hour-long broadcasts on Friday, we make sure you stay informed. Live at 5 on MHTV, Channel 34 on campus and 97 off campus. Mount Pleasant Zone, News Central 34. G morning sunshine. Wakey wakey. Text me back. Hey, did you tell your parents about us? Let's skip first period together. Did you get all my texts? Is practice over yet? Where are you at? 